And you're joining me uh, here at the Public Affairs Council in Mission Control, Houston. I'm joined right now by Alex Kenalekos, one of our EVA uh, flight controllers and also the crew instructors. He's here to tell us a little bit about uh, more, uh, a little more about the major activity taking place on board the station. Karen Nyberg and Mike Hopkins working on one of the uh, station spacesuits that was involved in a spacewalk back in July. So first off, Alex, thanks for joining me here. Give, give me a little bit, a little bit of history, real quick. Why, why are we doing some maintenance on this spacesuit today? Well, like you mentioned this summer, Dan, about the spacewalk number 23 that we had. Mm -hmm. um, during that spacewalk, Luca experienced some water in the helmet. And what we discovered is that, that it was some water that was leaking from the internal life support system of the spacesuit into the crew member's helmet. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we got the crew member in safely. And uh, after that, ever since that time, we've been working on our spacesuit, trying to figure out what caused this leak. And so today what we're doing is we are performing a fan, pump, and water separator R&R, okay, which is a removal quick. and yeah. replace. So what, what, what is the fan pump separator? What, what action does it perform inside the spacesuit? So we have um, a motor inside the suit that drives our fan pump and water separator. And basically what the fan pump and water separator do is the fan is basically circulating your O2 and your, your water separator is separating moisture that's in your ventilation loop as well as gas that has gotten trapped into the water loop or cooling loop. And it's separating the, the water and the gas, um, enabling the, the lines to be either, you know, degassed and so um, returning non-moisture air back to the crew member or O2. And then of course the, the pump is what's pumping our coolant fluid. And right now this is just one of what we think might be one of the prime suspects? That's, that's correct. So uh, our engineering teams have identified several different um, components of the uh, suit, mm -hmm. designing a big fault tree. And this is just one of the components that we think could have contributed to the leak in the suit. Specifically, the water separator is what we're concentrating our efforts today. Uh, but the water separator, the fan, and um, the pump are kind of coupled in, into one unit. OK, and what exactly are, are the two astronauts, because this has taken up a lot of their day today, what exactly are they having to do to you know get this out? of the suit. Right, so um, the spacesuit uh, is, is designed so that there's many different components and the components can be removed and replaced. However, this, this specific component uh, was not one that was necessarily trained um, on the ground. This, the uh, astronauts get several um, high intensive maintenance training for, for kind of generic training so that they know how to use all the tools on the space station, but they never specifically trained on this unit. Uh, so we knew that it was gonna take them a little longer to get them familiar with the actual fan pump water separator. So that's why it's taking a little longer. Uh, but there's several very small components. And when we're working with our spacesuits, we want to make sure that we're very um, careful not to introduce any uh, small uh, components or uh, pieces of uh, debris into our, our suit, because that could be a hazardous um, situation if, if that got into any of our loops. OK, well, the two astronauts, again, spending a couple hours being very meticulous with this. Uh, just one of the prime suspects right now uh, in that July 16th uh, spacewalk, having the water come into Luca's helmet. So we'll continue to get some more looks at that footage uh, today. Alex, thanks for coming on real quick and telling us what they're doing. Really appreciate uh, any insight that we're able to gain. Uh, so really, thanks for coming on. Thank you.